Hi guys, uh, we are continuing to work with Lagrange like, functions in Bloomsum API. If you really like this video, please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. So here, when we need to find the difference in a non-fixed interval of time that can vary depending on the time of the year and the date difference function provides some useful intervals like if date 2 is greater than like a date 1, the return number will be passed to if week of the year is used, the return value represents the number of weeks between the first day of the week containing date 1 and the first day of the week containing like date 2. And a course specifying the desired units of the like return value, the with these values are detailed you know, we'll see in the, in the date add function and the date one and date two and here we're going to see like how to calculate the number of weeks in between like in two consecutive years okay and then uh, so go to blue prism so create a process that is like a number of so weeks So drag and drop on calculation stage here. So assign a name for this one. Say number of weeks. And expand like a you know, date function. And select like a date difference. And it is asking us like, like, so it's like an interval, start date and end date. And let me assign a name like let me assign like a start date. So here I'm going to use make date function. So here 2015 and the month is uh, like a two. And this is like uh, say second day then okay and next the end date is okay select like on make date okay 2017 so month is let's take four month and the day is like in fifth. And select an interval is one. And again, it requires to okay paste it. Now you can see the expression here. So date difference, the interval is like one, and it's like a one starting date and ending date. Say number of weeks. I click on shortcut. So if you observe here, it is going under uh, data item is like a number data item. I click on link. Link the stages, and then if you observe here, it should like a zero errors. Then run it. Now you can see the total weeks like 113 weeks and let me change the date here say 2014 then reset it and then run it now we're showing like 165 weeks the current value is like 165 weeks thank you for watching please save this uh, for more videos on functions thank you